Now you're probably saying to yourself, well that's all very fine and good David, but the crucial part of that is that you're actually using Photoshop. And Photoshop is either £500 for the cheap version, or I'm going to have to rent it at about £20 a month. But you can do the same thing in other photographic programs. I've got PaintShop Pro here, which is a very good painting program, and quite a lot cheaper than Photoshop. So I've opened up the images. Next thing I want to do is to choose the freehand selection tool. They've got a whole variety of other things like the magic wand and everything else, but I found the freehand selection tool does the best job, which is exactly what I did in Photoshop. Use the lasso, lasso the area that I want, like the twig here. Let's just very, very quickly. There we are, you got the idea. I'm going to go up to edit, copy, paste as new layer, and there we are, I've got the twig separated out onto its own layer. And then to move it, so I'm going to select nothing, grab all of that layer, and then move it so it's in exactly the right place. It doesn't have to be in exactly the right place, because remember I'm going to make it slightly bigger inside of Viz title, but let's get it roughly in the right place. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the next bit, so select the background, select the lasso, lasso the second parrot, and then copy it, paste it as a new layer, select nothing, move my new parrot over here again into the right place, tart up the edges a bit, and so on. So all I'm doing is exactly the same thing as I did inside of Photoshop. So turn off those layers there, now I've got to do exactly the same thing as I did in Photoshop, which is to fill in all these areas. PaintShop Pro does have a kind of content aware fill, very much like the Photoshop one. I found out on this image it didn't really do very good, so I'm actually going to do what I did in the second place, which is just to use a clone stamp tool. Now in the case of PaintShop Pro, you come over to this icon and choose clone, and what you do is you right click on the area that you want to clone, and then you start drawing with the left mouse button and paint over the bits you don't want. So again, doing pretty much the same as I did in Photoshop there. Actually, I'm finding that brush is a little bit small, so let's just pop up here and make the brush a bit bigger so I can do more at once. There we are, getting a bit more done. If I need to change the bit I'm cloning, just right click on a different area and then left click to clone. And there we are, painting in all the bits just like I did inside of Photoshop. The original image I was using inside of his title was actually created all entirely in PaintShop Pro rather than Photoshop. Having done all your cutting out, I did exactly the same with this as I did inside of Photoshop, and that was to turn off the different layers, select just one layer, and then save it. I actually saved it as a Photoshop file because I know that VizTitle understands transparency in Photoshop files. If you save it as a JPEG file, they don't get saved with transparency, so that wouldn't work. That's why I saved it as a Photoshop file because I know that VizTitle understands that. You could use another format with an alpha channel. I just used the Photoshop format because I knew VizTitle gets that. But even though I'm not using Photoshop, I can save out a Photoshop file. The whole idea of this is just to make still images just a little bit more interesting. And I've done it all inside of VizTitle. I could have done it inside of After Effects. I could have done it inside of Boris where I might have had a few more different things. But I haven't had to. I've used a £200 titling program to achieve this effect. And here you can see I've got two versions of this particular effect, done with two different picture files. This one, where I've even keyframed the blur on the background, and it's got very nice edges as well. And this one, with a slightly different move, but it's got some really rough edges because I haven't finished it off, I haven't filled in the air of this twig properly, which is another cloning job, to try and make it look like that twig carries on. But yes, yeah, some really, really bad edges. It needs a bit more tarting up. But it's just a different idea of the same kind of moved. Of course, the more effort you put into your photographic program, the better this is going to look. Anyway, I hope you find this tutorial very interesting. You can get this title from us at DVC. There's a special offer at the moment where you get a bunch of extra plugins with it as well. We've also got a very nice tutorial that's been made by a guy in America by SGV Tutorials. And we're even doing a bundle of this title with this tutorial. So I hope you found that useful, just give us a ring, send us an email or pop onto the website if you want to know a bit more.